Kung ikombyo atakina susid kung isak hokan atakina tok kuvena general Mary Simon President sit na rekasus yurita sui na rekasusut nunet inokawi sa siyut tui siyurita sa Crimson asa sa ka isitombio katit asa sa but isitombio ikingutibut. I'm a proud Inuk standing here today addressing the 2022 Arctic Circle Assembly on behalf of the Inuit Circumpolar Council. Proud of this room full of intellect, visions of innovative solutions, a desire to learn and listen, a desire to continue amidst one severe crisis after another. I am proud that I stand here following generations of Inuit leadership who paved the way for our people to be part of the global dialogue, also through hard and difficult times, who built our indigenous people's organization on democratic principles, on equity and human rights, insisting on every Inuk child, every Inuk youth, adult and elder to be recognized and take direct part in all matters relating to us. The Inuit Circumpolar Council represents Inuit from across the Arctic, from Tukotka, Alaska, Canada, and Greenland. Since 1977, the Inuit Circumpolar Council has been the united voice of our people, raising concerns and advocating for our rights internationally, regionally, and nationally. Based on our unity across borders, dividing very different nation states, indigenous peoples occupied and owned the lands and seas of the Arctic for thousands of years. Inuit continue to carry with us a message of strong and peaceful development, a safe use of our environment, and a message of mutually respectful partnerships across the Arctic and across the globe. Join me in paying tribute to Inuit leaders whose shoulders we stand on and who, break, who breaks glass ceilings, including Her Excellency the Honorable Mary Simon, Canada's first Indigenous Governor General, who was the chair of the Inuit Circumpolar Council for two terms, and the previous chair before me of the Inuit Circumpolar Council, Dr. Daly Sambodoro, who is also here at this assembly. We are so proud and grateful for your tireless leadership. Oyanak. In midst of the Cold War, the Inuit Circumpolar Council developed into an internationally recognized organization, bringing a constant Inuit voice of concern for the changing climate and environment to the global arena. For decades, we have sat side by side with states in the UN and in other international institutions. And together with other indigenous peoples, we have taken part in negotiations for our rights, for climate action, for environmental safety and health through Inuit and indigenous diplomacy. We have contributed to the development of a world that to a greater extent encompasses and recognizes complexity and diversity. It has not been and it is not an easy task. And there is still a way to go. That is why international dialogue and forums like the Arctic Circle Assembly are so instrumental. And that is why it is of such great importance to have all voices and peoples represented. The world has been falsely divided into so-called developed and developing world. This hierarchical way of categorizing each other does not forge true democratic development. It maintains whole nations and peoples in one-dimensional worldviews, worldviews that are remnants of colonialism and oppression worldviews that are not representative 
of, a true, of the true diversity and richness of our planet, of human life, culture, languages, and diverse identities. Dear Arctic friends and family, Arctic, we urge all governments to recognize the false dichotomy between the so-called developed and developing world. We invite all to join us in seeing and valuing the endless dimensions of human life and all cultures. Dear Arctic friends and family, Arctic democracy is under great pressure. Conflicts and tensions is rising once again. And this time with dimensions and consequences we have not seen before. For the Arctic states represented here today, this is also your test. The Inuit Circumpolar Council is deeply concerned about the post-Arctic Council and its future. We predate and co-founded the Arctic Council and the fact that this Arctic Roundtable is currently not in function does not make our seats empty. This is part of the pressured Arctic democracy. We cannot reiterate enough that indigenous peoples must be included at any decision and policy making in and about the Arctic on all levels of governance, under or outside the auspices of the Arctic Council. Excellences, the Arctic Council is not the Arctic Council without indigenous peoples. Arctic governance is not democratic without indigenous peoples' participation. The values of governance built over decades with Arctic indigenous peoples and nations as moral leaders and the legitimizing representatives of being the Arctic is under pressure. How we collectively respond today will determine the future of Arctic democracy, the future we leave in the hands of our children and grandchildren. To navigate the waters of disastrous winter storms requires a cool and steady hand. But it also requires knowledge of these exact sea routes, coasts and weather conditions, and of the spirits that tie us as human beings together with nature. The values we bring, democracy, inclusion, integrity and good governance, must continue to be the moral compass for all Arctic governments. Dear friends, we, the human species, are the only living beings on this planet who divide ourselves on imagined lines drawn across land and sea. The changing climate, environmental pollution, the biodiversity, flora and fauna, and ecosystems know nothing of state borders on a map. And in our efforts to protect our planet from further disaster, we must come together and see beyond state borders. Yes, that is difficult in times like these, but the level of difficulty does not make it less necessary. This cannot be put on hold for a decade, not a year, or even a few months. Climate change is no longer a buzzword at niche conferences or a policy that can change with party political leadership. It is real, it is happening, and we, the collective human species, are the only ones who can make the unprecedented and massive efforts to cap global temperature rise. As Inuit and many others have said many times, protecting the Arctic is to protect the planet. Inuit are an integral part of the science community, not just through academic titles and degrees, also through the knowledge we contribute with through our own knowledge systems. Time has come to build more equitable and ethical engagement of indigenous peoples in the research done in and about our regions. What research questions do we want to pose? And why are they relevant? To whom are they relevant? How do we design a research project? Widening our horizon will allow more innovative solutions to be found and developed. I truly believe that indigenous peoples from around the globe hold invaluable knowledge and ways of seeing the world that will once again be the ingenuity our forefathers and mothers 
demonstrated in surviving and thriving. By inherently exercising their self-determination, they created the societies and lives we have inherited. They created the foundation and strength of our cultures so we can build democratic institutions and continuously fight for a peaceful and safe Arctic for freedom. As we look around the Arctic, this is, it, it is this inherently exercised right of self-determination now recognized as an inherent human right by the states represented in this room that makes up Arctic democracy as we know it. It is the recognition of indigenous peoples as equal to all other peoples and self-governing nations with rights exercised to create organizations, parliaments, and governments who are all and must be all part of the future Arctic governance. This is, this is the democracy we must protect. And this is what we owe our youth and children and coming generations of proud human beings, proud of who they are and what they, where, where they come from. I'm proud of every Inuk in this room, every Inuk youth and child in every community in Inuit Nunat and beyond. The way we water our generation is to creating for you to continue your journey on will settle. But we must secure you the tools to get through the storms unharmed and with your integrity maintained. Ladies and gentlemen, excellences, this is Arctic democracy under pressure, but we have the solutions at hand to prevent its complete meltdown, just like we have the ingenuity within reach to prevent complete climate disaster. I invite you all to feel the weight on your shoulders. I also invite you all to feel the strength of your backbone. Together, we can carry the weight and we can lift the weight. It requires courage. It requires action. Oyanak.